Now, have you ever wondered which player covers the most ground during a match? Maybe who makes the biggest hit? Or even who runs the fastest? Well, thanks to advancements in technology, the answer to these questions and many more are now close at hand. Earlier this year, the IRB gave special dispensation to the RFU and teams in the English Premiership to use Global Positioning Systems, or GPS, to gather player data as part of a study into the physical demands of top-flight rugby. Typically, we'd monitor the players in on-field training, particularly when they're running around and involved in collisions, and increasingly during games, and that the benefits in terms of performance and player welfare are well worth pursuing. So we're using them in games increasingly, and we think um, oh, certainly next season uh, we'll be monitoring the England players during the, the, the international games that they play in, as well as training. The study will gather data from more than 100 games throughout the season. One of the eight sides taking advantage of the concept is Harlequins. So the GPS real-time system itself is basically made up of two parts. We have the satellite and the laptop. Quite simply, what we're seeing happen now is basically, as the session is actually happening, we're picking up all the data from the players. So the starting 15 for this weekend, we're picking up on data such as distance, heart rate, speeds at which they're running. For matches, it's exactly the same setup. OK, the guys wear the units exactly as they are today. And again, we have that real-time feedback. So as the game's progressing and as the game's going on, the coaches come over and have a look and see where the guys are, basically what sort of state they're in. And basically, up from that baseline data, we can basically cross-reference it and actually work out what sort of stress the guys are currently under during the game. The benefits for us this season is, is learning to, or understanding the type of running volume they go through to, on a training day, um, the type of speeds they get to, their physical reaction to those um, stimulus, um, and how we can manipulate each training session to get the des desired effect on, on a Saturday. We can see from a match data how far and how fast uh, a player runs at, so we can determine uh, a match intensity. So we know at any stage during training if it's match intensity. So if we want to create a game intensity in certain scenarios at training, we can we can do that because we have the, we have the match data. We get loads of feedback. I mean, every week after our game, um, it comes up with our meters per second, how far we've run, our top speed. I mean, we're constantly getting feedback uh, after pretty much every training session, which is which is really good. And obviously, the coaches can see if we've been working hard enough. So, you know, it's uh, it can be a bad thing or a good thing depending on how hard you've worked that session. Taking things like our top speed, total distance measured, total distance measured in the top. 10% of our speed, um, impact hits, which are always quite fun to look at when we make a big hit or get smashed ourselves. As fitness levels and the pace of the game increase, player welfare is also part of the study. The project is aiming to find out how GPS can be utilised as an aid to reduce injuries in the future. The three injuries that keep players out of training and playing more than any other are shoulder dislocations, knee ligament damage and hamstring strains. So for example, if a player has been running repeat sprinting and we can, we can measure exactly how much running he's been doing and then a hamstring tear occurs and if we start to see that's a common pattern throughout all the players in the Premiership, we can start to do things to avoid those injuries happening. And that will be a huge step forward in terms of player welfare and keeping our best players fit to play more games. And with other countries now realising the full potential of the system, the RFU are hoping their initial participation will place them one step ahead of their rivals. Most of the major unions are investigating, if not already using, GPS technology. So at international level, there's a bit of a cat and mouse game going on. We're always trying to work out what everyone else is doing. Our competitors are trying to work out what we're doing. Where we think we're getting an advantage, though, is that the research through the Premiership is going to give us such a lot of data, we'll be statistically significant in terms of what we're doing far sooner than the others. But everybody's seen what the opportunity of GPS technology brings. We're involved as well, so we're one of the front runners.